YouTube. This is my dad's old reliable 3500 Dodge Ram 2003. We had an issue where basically um, everything worked except the fan would not turn on at all. The fan did not blow air conditioning, heat, nothing. Now this problem at the start was intermittent and then it became permanent. Um, I didn't know at the time, but it actually was intermittent because of the position of the steering wheel. Let me turn off this bottom light here, get you a better view. So the culprit is this um, ignition switch, this black switch right here. Uh, very easy to access it. Um, if you just try to get the ignition switch, you got to take off this bottom cover. It's three Torx T20 bolts. You take off the bottom cover, you snap off, uh, you just pull this guy out here and take off the bottom, take off the top, bada bing, bada boom. Now, what happens is your ignition switch is faulty by design. Just the way they made these, let me get a flatty over here. So your ignition switch is attached with this connector right here. I'm gonna do this live one-handed. So there's a slider right here at the bottom. You gotta pop that to the side just to release it. And then from the top, I'm sorry guys, I can't get a really good view on this, but there we go, like that. You just slide this guy in here. Now there's videos of guys who unscrew it and take the whole thing out and whatever, and that's fine if you're trying to replace it. But we already know it's a faulty part from the factory, from the design itself. So I'll show you the 100% confirmation that it's, that it's our issue. So that clips out like that, take a look, it's about, three quarter of an inch up that just pops out and that releases that so you pull it out if you pull out your switch plug and you got those top two wires are burnt like that you can throw switches on it until the cows come home you're gonna have issues because you're building extra resistance at that point over there and um, you're gonna have issues so how to permanently fix this clip those two wires run those two wires to the side splice them onto a relay. Now this is the normally closed position. This is the normally open. We're not using that, we're using normal closed. Now this is just like some $10 Amazon relay you can buy. Um, now for the trigger wire, the wire I chose is this big beefy blue one. You can see here. And what I did is I just cut the um, insulation, peeled it off, got to bare, um, bare copper. Man, it's too late. I'm starting to lose my vocabulary. Got to the bare copper. I just sent a pick in the middle of it and just made a hole, sent this one in, wrapped it around, and uh, I'm actually about to open this up now that we've proven concept and I'm gonna solder it, make sure that's attached there. Um, so that we use as the trigger. That big beefy blue wire, like I said, get into the copper, don't cut anything out. You know, you don't wanna lose the original um, capacity of the wire. You just add this here. This really doesn't take much. It's, in layman's terms, what a relay does is you're using a small amount of current to switch a large amount of current. So by sending this tiny little 12 volt signal in there, it switches that big beefy switch and switches on our 40 amp blower circuit. So instead of it going through here and through the switch and burning this and burning this and causing issues, we added our own mega switch and we're just doing that way. Now to ground it out, I just found this bolt right here and I just sent the wire in there, got it all nice and tight. This bolt is a Torx T25. Um, it just holds, it looks like some kind of plastic, um, I don't know, wire retention, something. So I just saw the bolt, it's going right into some nice cast aluminum there. So just wrapped it around that, we got a nice connection. Um, and, uh, Basically, we're bypassing the switch. We're able to keep everything here. Total cost for this is like 10 bucks, honestly. Um, sorry, my frame is terrible. Total cost for this whole project is like 10 bucks. You're just adding the switch into here. Um, if you're having issues with your truck where everything works, except your blower does not turn on, this is most likely what's going on. Another thing that we noticed was happening right around maybe a month before the whole fan situation started getting intermittent was the key you could turn this truck on and take the key out and walk away with it um actually got in trouble with it like that way once 
but um, yeah, guy went to a site <laughs> and can't turn his truck off, so he's working there, his truck is idling. So if you have that issue, for us it's a plus. We're in Canada, turn it on, let it warm up, you've got your keys in your pocket, you know, you're not worried about anybody stealing it. But um, if you're having that issue with your fan and uh, before you start because a mechanic's gonna tell you you gotta change this pigtail, you gotta change this. What is even the point when the thing was flawed from the factory? Add the mega switch, you can do it yourself. And um, keep her alive, keep that Cummins 5.9 on the road and uh, getting stuff done. And, uh, you know, taking an afternoon fixing your own truck is much cheaper than going down and getting a payment, so. Alrighty, boys. Keep the rubber side down. Have a great uh, night, day, evening, I don't know, bathroom break, wherever you're watching this video. Have fun, boys. Have a good one. God bless.